amen praise god we're going to go into the word right now we're going to continue from the message we started which i titled a certain man a certain man and our text chapter is taken from john chapter 5 verses 1 to verse 17 praise god i encourage you you can go on the website is lovedomainchurch.org click on the media page and you see the message the part one of this message a certain man praise god today we're going to continue from where we ended last week sunday and we'll just quickly go to the book of john chapter 5 reading the king james version praise god john chapter 5 the king james version praise god and i'll just read from verses 1 down verse 1 says after this there was a feast of the jews and jesus went up to jerusalem now there is at jerusalem by the sheep market a pool which is called in the hebrew tongue bethesda having five pouches in this lay a great multitude of impotent folk of blind of heart withered waiting for the moving of the water for an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had and a certain man was there who had which had an infirmity 38 years when jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case he said unto him will thou be made whole the impotent man answered him sir i have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the water into the pool but while i am coming another stepped it, stepped it down before me jesus said unto him rise take up your bed and walk and immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked and on the same day was sabbath was a sabbath ten the jews therefore said unto him that was cured it is a sabbath day it is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed he answered them he that made me whole the same said unto me take up thy bed and walk then asked they him what man is that which said unto thee take up thy bed and walk and he that was healed which not who he was for jesus had conveyed himself away a multitude being in that place afterwards jesus finded him in the temple and said unto him behold thou art made whole see no more lest a worse seen thing come to thee unto thee the man departed and told the jews that it was jesus which had made him whole and therefore did the jews persecute jesus and sought to slay him because he had done these things on the sabbath day but jesus answered them my father walketh hitherto and i walk too praise the lord praise the lord of course we've gone through verses one all the way to verses eight to verse yeah verses partially verse eight and we're going to continue from there of course giving you a break a background again of the story this is jesus traveling to jerusalem and he went to you know to the hospital the pool of bethesda the place of healing you know to heal a particular man a certain man and of course the man complained but jesus did not listen to his complaint but rather jesus told him something in verse 8 jesus said unto him rise take up your bed and walk praise god now this man the bible says was an impotent man in other words he was paralyzed he could not move praise god it was not a minor illness this was an illness that kept him down for 38 years for 38 long years almost four decades praise god jesus said unto him rise take up thy bed and walk amen the first thing you notice jesus said unto him was to rise praise god now understand is jesus ignored his complaint he ignored everything and told him to rise take up thy bed and walk praise god and what did the man do 
the man rose up took up his bed and walked praise god now understand is jesus did not follow the process that had been for the last 38 years of this man's life where an angel comes and stares the water troubles the water and then the first who gets in gets healed jesus did not come with the same process but rather he came differently he didn't come to stir the water he didn't even lay hands on this man he only spoke praise god he spoke seven perfect words he told him rise take up your bed and walk seven complete words praise god and that's why it's so important when you speak always speak the right words praise god always speak the right words the bible says in the book of romans chapter 10 verse 8 it says what seeth thee it says the word is in thy mouth even in thy heart it says the word is in your mouth even in thy heart praise god the truth is you don't really need anyone to lay hands on you you can speak it forth with your mouth and believe in your heart this is what jesus did he didn't lay hands on this man he didn't go to stir the waters no but rather he only spoke spoke words of power words of praise 38 years this man has tried but only seven words turned his life around not just turning his life around but he wasn't just healed he was made whole spiritually physically materially this man received a hundred percent back all that the devil has stolen from him praise god for 38 years he told him rise another translation says to get up one translation says stand up so to rise means to stand up and when he told him to rise it meant to rise up from the past rise up from the hurt rise up from the pain rise up from the depression from the hopelessness rise up from the complaints rise up from the excuses praise god he told him to rise up because it is a new day praise god it is a new day you know paul says in the book of philippians chapter 3 verse 13 he said i i forget those things that are behind and i press towards the mark for the prize of a high calling jesus told this certain man to rise up to forget the things that are behind the 38 years of pain he told him to forget it and to move forward to step forward to the prize of a high calling that's what he told him he says rise isaiah 60 verse 1 says arise shine jesus told him to arise this is the time for you to shine all the years you've been down all those years the devil has tried to play tricks on you all the years you've been expecting god to do something and god has not done it now is your time to arise and god says to tell you this is your time to arise to arise and to shine for your light has come for the glory of the lord is risen upon you now is the time for you to arise arise because god who started good work in you is faithful and just to complete what he started praise god now is your time to arise amen praise god look at the verse again verse 8 he says jesus said unto him he says rise and then the next thing he told him he says take up thy bed praise god another translation says take up your mat pick up your mat now the question is why did jesus tell him to take up pick up your mat jesus was trying to prove a statement here amen understand this for 38 years the bed carried this man with only seven words this man stood up and carried the bed that carried him praise god I wrote down i said too many times focusing on the problem causes one to lose sight of the offer we get so focused on the circumstances and the hurdles we need to clear that we lose sight of what jesus is offering to do praise god and that's what happened to this man jesus asked him will you be made whole but the man did not see the offer but rather he made a complaint he gave excuses praise god and then jesus told him rise 
take up your bed jesus was proving a statement here to let him know that it is time for him to let go of the past let go of things that is holding him backwards and to move forward praise god let it go and focus on what is and not what has been praise god jesus says take up your bed take up your bed and i encourage you you watching me right now take up your bed it's time to pick up your mat and begin to move forward don't let what had happened begin to dictate you because the more it dictates you the more it it reference you in your future it places itself in your future and you find yourself moving backwards instead of forward and god is saying it's time for you to rise it's time for you to take up your bed praise god pick up your mouth now is the time to move forward verse 8 jesus said unto him rise take up your bed and walk praise god jesus said it's time to walk for 38 years this man could not walk he told him it's time to take the first step it could be your business you're thinking of having a business this is the time to take the first step praise god if, if it's in your business you're thinking of new ideas this is the time for you to take that step god is saying now is the time for you to take the step this man was paralyzed for 38 years he told him to walk walk out of the problem walk out of the past walk out of that sickness walk out of the situation walk out of depression walk out of excuses out of poverty out of the complaints he told him to walk out and to walk in the authority of that name the name of jesus the man that spoke truth into his life he told him to walk in that authority praise god and that's the authority i brought to you today that as you walk on your daily basis walk in that name walk in the name of the lord jesus christ amen walking in god is walking in god's direction walk in the direction of god walk in that name that makes you whole again praise god that name made this man whole again walk in god's direction psalms 1 verse 1 says blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly god is saying now is the time for you to walk in his direction praise god don't walk the way the world system wants you to don't walk the way your boss wants you to walk the way god wants you to in god's direction because he is the way john 14 6 the truth and the life praise god walk in that way walking in that road is the walking in the road of truth praise god the bible says in john 17 verse 17 sanctify them in thy truth thy word is truth so the truth stood before this impotent man and the truth spoke the words to him and this man got his healing so to walk when he told him to walk it meant to walk in the road of truth praise god and not to look back not looking back but walk in the truth praise god god's word is the truth god's word is reality the truth of god's word is the real information that you need amen and it's that same truth that will set you free praise god john 8 32 god's word sets you free praise god amen he told him rise up take up your bed and walk praise god how you walk is determined on how you follow instructions i'll say that again how you walk is determined on how you follow instructions this man followed the exact instructions jesus gave to him he told him rise take up your bed and walk and this man rose up picked up his mat and walked the man followed the exact instruction that jesus gave to him and that's why how you walk is determined on how much you follow the instructions there are instructions the word of god has given to us following instructions will take you to your destination following instruction will put you in the right position in the right place following instructions will lead to more commitment and more consistency and god is saying this to you walk in him walk in the truth walk in the right place this is your time don't walk based on how you feel or based on your 
certificates or based on your power or based on your ability or your strength jesus is saying to you walk based on his word his word is yea and his word is amen not by power not by might but by my spirit saith the lord god is saying for you to walk in that direction and there's someone listening to me right now you're sick in your body god says place your hand there right now and speak healing over that part of your body and you're the healed of god in the name of jesus christ i release the presence of god the truth of god's word into your life right now in jesus name you are healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet and that part that is hurting you i declare total healing in the name of jesus christ you're going to receive a divine and an unusual visitation from the most high god and so shall it be for you in jesus name amen and amen praise god following instruction will help you on how you walk amen verse 8 again jesus said unto him rise take up your bed and walk these are three instructions these are action steps that jesus told this impotent man this paralyzed man a certain man praise god that is the same instruction god is giving to you now as you're stepping further into the month of july into august september october november and december god is saying in all you do arise and shine god is saying don't let your past dictate you take up your mat and walk praise god keep walking keep moving keep pressing keep stepping forward because the path of the just is as a shining light it shines brighter and brighter it says keep walking so that your path will keep shining brighter and brighter until the perfect day now is your time to keep walking don't stop now don't relent don't retreat god is saying move forward keep moving forward keep walking in his direction of truth and as you do you arrive at the perfect destination in jesus name praise god verse 9 verse 9 says and immediately hallelujah immediately when jesus spoke to this man you know there are some healings when they pray for you the healing you know takes place instantly some healings progresses within the months within the weeks within the days praise god but the moment jesus the truth spoke to this man and told him to rise up jesus didn't even pray oh i pray for you now he just spoke the words and this man rose up the bible says in verse 9 and immediately the man was made whole immediately instantly he was made whole without delay he was made whole right away that man was made whole and i prophesy to you today i prophesy that the god of instantly the god without delay will answer your prayers will re answer your request in the name of jesus christ this is your appointed season for your testimony for your miracle it is your season to rejoice your season to smile your season to laugh and you will laugh from now to the end of the year you will smile from now to the end of the year in the name of jesus christ you will rejoice from now to the end of the year and by the special grace of god nothing will bring sorrow to you nothing will bring sadness to you but the joy of the lord will continue to be your strength in jesus name praise god immediately this man was made whole immediately immediately in a split second he was made whole and that's what god is going to do for you immediately you will receive your miracle immediately you receive your testimonies in the name of jesus christ praise god he says immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked and on the same day was sabbath day verse 10 says the jews therefore said unto him that was cured it is a sabbath day it is not lawful for thee to take to carry thy bed praise god of course it was sabbath day and for them they believe sabbath day you don't carry anything and then when they saw this man carrying a mat he was more or less disobeying the rule and the regulation at that time but they forget to realize and know that the one who brought the rule the one who is the rule you know can do whatever he chooses praise god 
So he told him, you're not supposed to walk on that day. It's not lawful for you to walk on that day. And verse 11, the man answered them. He said, and he made, he that made me whole, the same said unto me, take up thy bed and walk. Now this man is going about to begin to testify. Praise God. He took up his mat and then started to walk. As he was going, he was testifying. He was testifying. And this is what God wants you to do. When God blesses you with a miracle, testify. So that you can put the devil to shame. When God blesses you with anything, testify. Amen. And this man kept on testifying. And they were against him because he carried his mat with him. Because the mat that carried him for 38 years, now he's carrying it. Amen. Verse 12 says, Then asked they him, what man is that which said unto thee take up thy bed and walk praise god and he that was healed wished not who it was praise god now isn't it um, odd that this man who was healed did not even know that it was jesus that healed him praise god that it was jesus that healed him he never heard of jesus but you you know him you've heard of him you know about him praise god and that's why i encourage you you that know about him live the life he wants you to live live the exact life he wants you to live he says and he that was healed which not who it was for jesus had conveyed himself away a multitude being in that place a multitude being in that place a place of sickness praise god a place of sorrow of pain jesus left there so he actually went there for one particular person and that person is you that person is you in the name of jesus christ and then he left look at verse 14 afterwards jesus found him where in the temple in the temple this man got up and then he went straight to church on his way he was testifying testifying and he went straight to church and guess where jesus met him jesus met him in the church praise god met him in the temple met him in the synagogue afterwards jesus finds him in the temple and said unto him behold thou art made whole sin no more lest a worse thing come unto thee my point here is jesus met this man in the temple this man did not go oh now i can walk i need to go and drink i need to go and do something else i need to do something nasty but this man rather went to church to continue to testify of the miracle that god has done for him praise god and jesus met him there jesus can meet you anywhere but never forget when you're in the temple he meets you there praise god and that's why i encourage you always ensure that you are in the temple the bible says we are the temple right now of the holy ghost praise god because he dwells in us so wherever you are you are his temple so which means you carry him praise the lord he dwells in your heart verse 15 says the man departed and told the jews that it was jesus which had made him whole 16 says and therefore did the jews persecute jesus they looked for him they wanted to kill him because he healed a man on the sabbath day he did a good thing but the people rejected him never let what's around you stop you from doing good because when you do good no matter what god will always be by your side praise god because he had done this thing on the sabbath day but Jesus answered them in verse 17. He says, My father walketh hitherto, and I walk. The Amplified Version says, But Jesus answered them, My father has been walking until now. He has never ceased working. And I too am walking. And I want to encourage you. Don't relax. Don't be lazy. Keep walking this work keep evangelizing for the gospel keep preaching this gospel keep inviting people keep fasting keep praying keep following instruction keep doing what the word of god has instructed you to do keep walking for the lord as much as you walk for yourself you walk for your family you walk to make ends meet when you walk for god first every other thing falls in place 
because he must increase and you must decrease praise God walk for the Lord walk for the Father let his work be your first priority let his work be your, your first responsibility let what God has said be what kicks you what wakes you up in the morning and makes you move let God's word be all that you stand for his word is first and his word is always first so I encourage you walk with the Lord do what he has instructed you follow the instructions pay, pay, pay attention to things that concerns you in the things with church praise God find a thing to do find something to help you do in church no matter what it is even if it's online you can still do something praise God you can still do something and I encourage you and I pray for you that as you walk continually for the Lord the blessings of God will never cease in your life in the name of Jesus Christ I have questions for you who is around you praise God who are you listening to amen the only people this man listened to were those that were complaining those that were bitter the question is who are you listening to who are your friends that you're paying attention to praise God who are those praise the Lord praise the Lord because you see if you're going to change your level if you're going to change your state, the state that you're in you will have to be mindful of those around you be mindful of those around you this man lived a life of pain 38 years but in some few seconds he rose up picked up his mat and walked God says to tell you now is your time to move now is your time to step forward he's stirring the waters in your favor praise God a divine visitation is awaiting you and I pray for you right now the God of instantly the God without delays will answer your prayer request right now in the name of Jesus Christ I broadcast that this is your appointed season for your miracle for your testimony I declare this is your season to rejoice your season to laugh and to smile I pray you continue to walk in God's direction and not in the way of the ungodly I pray you walk in the road of the truth and follow the truth now and always in Jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen and the church says a big amen praise God let's give Jesus a big hand give him a bigger 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 hand thank you Lord Jesus thank you father we glorify your name